Uh, yeah, just myself and the selectors, the two lads, and I'm, uh, we're slated to start talking about it tomorrow. Don't know how long it'll take, <laughs> you know, maybe a, a day or two. And then um, after we make the decisions, we'll contact the lads and then we'll let them know what day they need to come in this week and we'll go from there. How much of that squad do you think you've still got in the undecided bracket? Mate, there's still some, uh, there's still some highly competitive comp uh, positions. And again, it decides on the composition or the configuration of the squad, uh, how many forwards to how many backs the specialist positions, how many of those. Um, so, uh, yeah, that'll be... The, I think once those discussions... That'll be the first discussions had without giving away too much. You'd imagine that'll be the first discussions had and then from there we decide which players because that decides how many you'll have in the rest. I can't remember how many we went last time. I think it was... I think we actually went... Yeah, we went 17-14 last time ourselves, in fact. So... Um, look, it's, it's there or close to it, you know what I mean? It's either 18, 13 or 17, 14. I can't imagine it being any other type of mix. I think you had the luxury of taking two half-backs and two hookers like you did last time. Oh, what, can we take them? Yeah, we can if we want to, yeah, if we're prepared to and we've got some backup plans or whatever, or we could take three, um, which is the safer option, I suppose, without a doubt. But, you know, um, you have a look at the draw. We have the discussion. Uh, I think both of those options will be considered for sure. Are there, are there guys that haven't played any footy with you in this campaign that are still being considered? In, in, in for sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, Dempsey, uh, Robertson. Uh, not sure even if Will Skelton's still on the table. We'll have a look and see what the, the discussion is there when we get uh, over the next day or two before the squad's selected. If he, he's, you know, his situation about coming back to Australia is any clearer. Um, is there anyone else? The There's a few other players. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, they've been with the squad, so definitely they'll be considered. So, uh, yeah, we'll look at it. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think uh, we've got to look when you start to get now to the narrow part of this many players to cover this many games. Versatility does count, and um, Maddox can do that as well. So I know he hasn't played, but there's been other players that haven't had a huge amount of game time either in the four, four matches that we've played so far this year. Would Skelton be a serious consideration, given he hasn't played with the rule? He would be based on uh, if his contract situation was right to meet the rules. That was it. That would be the only way. And look, that's highly unlikely right now with only a day or two to go. So, um, but the more to pick from, um, the more options that gives us all the time. Is it, still, is it still definitely only if it comes back next season? Yeah, exactly like the, the rules are. The rules aren't going to change for that. You know? There's been guys here slugging it out for four years, doing their bit. They, the rules aren't changing for that. With, with, with the rules like with Lost on play next year, so... That's it. He will be at the end of Super Rugby. When his contract finishes in the UK, he'll be back here at the end, of, for, just like Matt Tenoy did the year before. Yeah, he did say that in South Africa that it's highly unlikely that he'll play. Gosh, that, that's the way they'll be playing. That's the way it'll be working. That's the way it's, it's worth for Tenoy. That's the way it'll work for him. That's the way it'll work for anyone else. Did last night's uh, result of just the game itself, did you think that it's played people win or out of, out of sports? Oh, uh, no, I don't think so. But that, uh, that, that will be looked at as part of the selection process, you know. So. There's people playing, there's people not playing. I think you get the overall, you can't, you, you got to take it all as part of the context, I think, when it comes to selection. There's some things you'll go with form, there's some things you'll go with potential, there's some things you'll go of what you possibly might be thinking of combinations in the future as well. So. At least there's no danger of going overconfident, over you know? <laughs> I don't think there was ever a danger of that, Georgina. Right? Even with the victory last night, there would be no danger of that. The, uh, this is a build on, like I was saying last night, We've we are really been pleased with the improvement from last year. You guys have watched all the footy from last year to this year. You see, I think, a difference in the team, a difference in the guys off the field as well, the camaraderie inside of the team. And, yeah, it hurt last night and, it, you know, it's hurting now and it's going to for a while. The opportunity's gone. But uh, we'll be back next year, you know. Wallabies will be going there hard and strong to try and compete next year and get the trophy back and want it even more. Or take the trophy, I suppose, and want it even more. But that's uh, that's a further that's a discussion for down the track. You know, now it's about making sure we get the right selection as best we can, and, and taking that selection to a, 
uh, uh, through a good preparation and into the cup. What about the camp in New Mia um, last year? Last time was uh, Notre Dame. Is it a similar sort of mind, uh, in a similar yeah. sort of yeah. process? Slightly so, different um, configuration because last time we had the match week in the middle. This time the match week's at the end. So the I suppose the extra little bits we want to get in our fitness, which are areas that we've really been happy with the improvement. I think the fitness staff have done a great job in getting the players um, up to another level. I think that's been seen in the matches and now we want to just get a little bit extra. The first bits I suppose of improvement are easy to get there. Getting the last little bits are, are what we want to get. Acclimatised to a few different things we might want to do over there. And then in the second week we'll look at We'll, we'll try and get a look at who's going to play Samoa um, pretty early on so we can plan everyone individually to go from there. We might take a few extra players with us to New Mira as well because we may not play everyone in the Samoa game. Uh, we'll just take a look at how that's going to pan out.